strange and disappointing news from Tony Clement, the former conservative cabinet minister and leadership contender. On Tuesday night during the distraction of the U.S. midterm election night, Clement put out this press release saying, over the last three weeks I have shared sexually explicit images and a video of myself to someone who I believed was a consenting female recipient. The recipient was in fact an individual or party who targeted me for the purpose of financial extortion the RCMP are currently investigating the matter to determine the identity of the party responsible for the extortion attempt. That press release was sent out by the Conservative Party, and a few minutes later, Andrew Scheer, the leader, sent out another email accepting Clement's resignation from Shadow Cabinet. Now, Clement said he was contrite, but he deployed a little bit of unconservative excuseology. He started off well. He said, I recognize now that I have gone down a wrong path and have exercised very poor judgment. First and foremost, I apologize to my family for the needless pain and humiliation my actions have caused. I also apologize to my colleagues and my constituents for letting them down. But then he added this, he said, I am committed to seeking the help and treatment I need in my personal life to make sure this will not happen again while also continuing to discharge, discharge my duties as a member of parliament. Well, look, it's not treatment. You don't have a disease that makes you do those things. Maybe you have a character flaw or a predilection of some sort, but don't say you need treatment like it's an external problem, like you came down with the flu or cancer. This didn't happen to you. You did it. You chose to do it. But soon after Clement made his confession, a number of young women on Twitter chimed in saying, whoever was extorting Clement, well, that wasn't the first person to make his intimate acquaintance online. Here's someone tweeting a picture they claim is Instagram notifications that they received at 10 p.m. on a Sunday night on Christmas Day, actually, of Tony Clement liking their personal pictures from a Cuba vacation. A young woman unrelated to him, Tony Clement, was just creeping her Instagram pics and letting her know he really liked them. Here's another young woman. She says... The first time Tony Clement direct messaged me, it was after 1 a.m. and I was chair of the youth cabinet. There, said it. I don't know what a youth cabinet is, but Tony ain't a youth. Uh, here's another. What grown-ass elected parliamentarian wants to chit-chat with a 23-year-old girl on Twitter at 1 a.m. about the Rob Ford scandal just casually, and that was years ago. Now, that could just be gossip, but it rings true. And less than a day later, Scheer changed his stance. He wasn't just accepting Clement's resignation from Shadow Cabinet. He was kicking him out of the caucus altogether. Here's the story in the CBC. Scheer said, I took him at his word that this was an isolated incident. Since then, there have been numerous reports of other incidents, allegations. So in that respect, I've asked Tony to resign from caucus so that he can respond to these allegations, Scheer said. New information became available today to suggest this was not an isolated incident. I think Clement is right. His first apology belongs to his wife and his family. And the next belongs to the girls that he apparently hit on over the years. It looks like he targeted politically interested young women. Maybe he was inspired in a bad way by the promiscuous Patrick Brown, whose philandering finally caught up with him and disqualified him, thankfully, as provincial PC leader. Maybe Tony Clement thought, hey, why can't I get some of that action that Patrick Brown did? Well, you're married, for one thing, unlike Patrick Brown. And secondly, Brown's reputation was so widely known and discredited that Stephen Harper simply refused to promote Brown to any position of responsibility during his term as an MP. Patrick Brown was not trustworthy, is not trustworthy, has never been serious, none of that. But Tony Clement, by contrast, he did hold high offices in government, first provincially, then federally. He had responsibilities and he had confidences and national secrets. And in fact, Justin Trudeau, of all the conservatives out there, appointed Tony Clement to a new multi-party, high security committee called the National Security and Intelligence Committee of Parliamentarians. He was one of only two conservative MPs chosen for that position. And yet, he would cruise Instagram looking to sext with young girls. What kind of risky conduct is that? So he's being extorted now. Well, is this the first time? How would we even know? 
It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to all of those people who loved him and relied on him personally, his family mainly. I suppose that's between him and his wife and kids. But what kind of fool is trusted with the country's most sensitive national secrets and then puts himself in a blackmailable position like that? Yeah, sorry, Tony. There's no treatment for being a reckless, irresponsible fool. You didn't just put your own reputation at risk. You put our public safety at risk. You, who had been given everything by the Canadian people. There's, there's nothing conservative about that. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.